hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is fajira if you're joining me for the very first time thank you for stopping by and for my returning subscribers thank you for always watching so today i have put up this video to show you how you can make this delicious coconut rice stay tuned let's quickly dive into it So in preparation of our coconut rice, I have two cups of rice on the pot. I'm going to parboil for 10 minutes. Then I have three coconuts I'll be using for this coconut rice. I'm going to break them and cut them into smaller pieces, then blend them. You can actually use a grater to grate them, but I'm using a blender to blend it so it's going to be easy for me. Cutting them into smaller bits makes the blending easier. So that's why I have to, I'm cutting them into smaller bits. So I'm going to add some water to it after cutting them and put it in the blender and blend. And as you can see, it's already in the blender. I'm going to add some warm water to it. I'm using warm water because uh, naturally coconut has oil. And if you use cold water, it's going to stick to the blender. So I'm using warm water so the oil will not stick. Rather, I need the oil for the cooking because I'm not using any oil to do this cooking so i'm just going to blend it until i know it's properly uh, blended as you can see it's actually blended so i will still add a little bit of warm water and wash it out because i need all the milk for this native coconut rice i'm cooking this reminds me of my uh my early days in my family house this is how we usually cook our coconut rice but the part that i hate most is the blend is a grating part of it i hate it but the, when you finish you're definitely going to enjoy it so as you can see i'm actually washing out the milk i need from it and in this milk there is oil and if you could remember that back then i think even up till now they still make coconut oil through this process because you have to allow the milk to boil and you get the oil from it so I've added more warm water to it so for I can be able to extract all the oil and the milk I need for this coconut rice. So I'm just going to keep washing with a clean sieve as you can see but I'm not going to just stop here. I'm still going to sieve it again to ensure that none of the coconut shafts enter the rice when I'm cooking it. So. I'm still washing it and trust me, I'm going to extract a lot of coconut milk from this you're seeing. And bearing in mind that you can actually use this for as your coconut drink. You can use it just to drink it naturally. It is really, really healthy. I love drinking coconut milk and also coconut juice. Wow, look at that. Yes, yeah, so this is the coconut milk we are using for the rice. As you can see, I'm not using water from any source. This is my water. This is my milk. This is everything I'm just going to use for this coconut rice. So look at it. But trust me, like I said, I'm still going to save it while using it because I don't want the shafts to go into the rice I'm cooking. This is purely coconut rice. So in my pot is already my parboiled rice it's already parboiled and washed so i'm just going to start it's a very simple step to to make this rice i'm just going to start by adding everything i need to add from this the stats so i'm adding my onion and also i'm going to add my scotch bonnet already blended you can use any type of pepper but i prefer to use scotch bonnet and i'm adding seasoning cubes i'm using three seasoning cubes for this then i also have a fish there this was a fish i dried myself i just want to add it to it to make it more tasty you can add meat you can add whatever you want to add but i prefer to use fish and i'm using crayfish which is dry prawns so i'm going to add the coconut milk but before that i will add my salt because i'm not adding anything to this rice apart from the milk now all the ingredients i need to cook it is ready so i'm going to sieve the milk i'm going to sieve the milk and to the quantity i know that will be okay 
to cook the rice so you can see some more shaft coming out from it imagine me not saving it then you will end up showing this shaft in your rice so always ensure that after washing it the first time try to like sieve it again so i'm just going to stay it and i will cover the pot and allow the rice to cook at this point i'm not adding any other thing to this rice i've added all the ingredients i want to use but apart from that i still have tomato and onion which i'm slicing now that i would love to use for the garnish i really love eating it in my coconut rice and i'm not going to let it cook i'm just going to use it at the end when the coconut rice is already cooked so i can be chewing it in the rice so i will just quickly go back and see how the rice is cooked now from what it looks like you can see the coconut rice is properly cooked bearing in mind that i did not add any more water i just used the coconut milk if i wanted to add more fluid to this it would still be the coconut milk not using water because once you add water to it the coconut test is going to die off so i've just stirred it and i'm going to start garnishing it now with all the onion the fresh tomato and just allow the heat from the rice to cook that it's not going to be properly cooked because i'm going to turn off the the heat then i will just cover the pot after garnishing it and allow the heat to be the one to do the remaining work the heat from the rice not the heat from the cooker so i really love um, fresh tomato and onion in my coconut rice because when you eat it it gives it a very good taste and it's also crunchy in the mouth as well so when i finish doing this now you can see the steam coming out from the rice that is what we cook the onion and the fresh tomato so once i'm done with this garnishing i will cover the pot and leave, leave it for about two minutes then come back to it what do you like um, using to garnish your coconut rice uh, let me know in the comment section what you prefer to use to garnish you can use anything to garnish but for me i love onion and fresh tomato you can see how appetizing and how inviting this coconut rice look so i believe you must have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this and also do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section let me know how you like your coconut rice let's keep the coconut rice recipe going so for this coconut rice i actually did not use any protein to serve it because i already had some fish inside the rice so i just ate it this way and i ate even more than what i would have eaten on a normal day this was how i served it and i ate like two times of this so, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye for now